first we're going to start off by doing my eyebrows. Like, I really didn't have really nothing to do. I just got out of bed because I was just so bored. I just wanted to just do something, you know, that I could be productive with. And I just was like, why not just do my makeup? So, we're just going to be filling it in and, you know, just go from there. just so aggravating like doing eyebrows is just so much work like i hate doing it but that's the most important part of your makeup eyebrows and as you can see at the back my eyebrows is so thin so i try to even it out with the front i'm kind of new to this voice over thing Actually, I'm very new. I'm just going to be brushing it, you know, just to give it that smooth and natural look. Just to brush it all together, you know, to look like one brow, you know, okay? <laughs> just to look like one brow. So, I'm going to be concealing it, basically cleaning it up to give it that arch look, you know, just to clean all the hairs and all that because I ain't really arch my brows. And excuse my face, I really have to do some better face care because my face is actually a mess right now. It's a scuddy mess. Like, it's really bad. I just need y'all to give me some tips and stuff, but I can do better. Like, I'm new to this eyeshadow thing that I'm about to do. I just started doing eyeshadow on my face. Actually, this is really kind of my first time doing it. I'm kind of an artist. I'm an artist. I paint and stuff like that. And it's basically about the same thing, but I still need more practice. So this is the palette. I actually got this palette from Walmart. When I went to Walmart, it was, I didn't really know the price, but once I got to the register, it just was like 30 something because I had actually got some setting spray, but I knew it wasn't that much, but I wasn't tripping because, you know, you have to put out to get back, you know? And this purple is just so cute to me. That's why I'm using this purple and this pink. I really don't know nothing about eyeshadow, but I did what's, what's best for me, and I actually thought it really came out cute. Blending is my favorite part. Now, here we go with this. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm just putting a little concealer, you know, just to give it that brightness, that brightness at the beginning of my eye. It may not be as perfect, but it's going to be worth it. You know, I'm so lame for that. I kind of messed up a little bit, but it'll do. I'll go over it because, you know, queens fix their mistakes. Like always, they fix their mistakes. And I want you guys to subscribe. Like, subscribe to my channel. Like, show me love. Show me things that you want me to do for you guys. And this actually really... That shadow with the glitter really gave me life like it gave me so much life like i love this so much just going to be blending it in Now I'm going to come underneath my eye, you know, give it that pop. Not that pop, but that pop. Give it that little pop, you know. Boom. 
brush I'm using actually came from out of the eyeshadow container, palette, where whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to be doing my foundation. I got this foundation for MAC, it's NW45. And this color is actually very, I love this color. Like I feel like it's so me, it matches me. And MAC makeup doesn't dry matty, it dries very solid. So that's why I love MAC. But if y'all guys have any foundations that you guys want me to try that y'all feel like is very better than MAC because, of course, they have other things that are very better than MAC, leave it in suggested. Leave it in the comments because I really want to try what you guys use on y'all faces. And next, I got this highlight. I got this from the Beauty Supply. I really love this one because, once again, it doesn't dry matte. It dries solid. I kind of don't know what color this is, but when I, when I do, I will put it in the description box for you guys. But when I find out... I'm just cleaning up my concealer at the top, you know, by my eyebrows, so I don't want to look too white. I'm cleaning it up with some foundation. And this is the foundation stick that I got from, I forgot what the store called, I don't want to say it and get the word messed up, but I love this foundation. Like, it's, I think it's CoverGirl. See, like the stuff that I be using, I really don't know the name of it. I just pick it out. I just ask people, what do you think would be better for my face? I don't really look at the name, but I really, I think it's CoverGirl. And this powder, I love this powder. This powder is called the banana powder. Like, this powder do not leave me looking white. It don't leave me, you know, looking like a ghost. I love this powder so much. So, so, so much. And actually, this is the CoverGirl banana powder. I know that for sure. Now I'm just going to be brushing that off. You know, give it a little brush, brush, brush. I'm just going to brush it, give it another brush for the last time. This is my favorite. This is my favorite part. This is my MAC highlighter. I love this highlighter so much. You can't go wrong with your highlight. You know, when you step into the sun, you just can't go wrong at all. You just can't go wrong. I like to put it under my brows just to give it that push up, that arch. Now this is my finished look. I'm gonna spray some setting spray from CoverGirl once again. I love it so much. This is my finished look. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Leave comments, suggestions, leave it all. Like, leave everything. Show me some love. Follow my social medias in the description box. You guys, share my video.
Do you see that glow? You see that glow? Okay. 